The 1991 Mount Pinatubo eruption, when the sky turned to ash. A sleeping giant awakens. Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines had been dormant for over 500 years. Locals hardly saw it as a threat. Until June 1991, when it suddenly roared back to life. Second largest eruption of the 20th century. On June 15, 1991, Mount Pinatubo unleashed a cataclysmic eruption, sending ash 35 kilometers, 22 miles, into the sky. Only the 1912 Katmanovarupta eruption in Alaska was larger in that century. Ashfall covered the skies. Ash blanketed thousands of square kilometers, turning day into night across Luzon. Even Manila, 90 kilometers away, was shrouded in darkness. The ash cloud circled the globe and lowered global temperatures by about 0.5 degrees Celsius for over a year. Lahars, rivers of destruction. The eruption coincided with Typhoon Yunya, which dumped torrential rain. This created lahars, fast-moving mud flows of ash and water that destroyed towns and buried entire villages for years after the eruption. Clark Air Base evacuated and abandoned. The U.S. military evacuated Clark Air Base, one of its largest overseas bases, just in time. The base suffered extensive damage and was eventually handed over to the Philippine government, saved by science and collaboration. Thanks to joint efforts by FIVOLX, Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, and the U.S. Geological Survey, over 75,000 people were evacuated in time. This is credited with saving tens of thousands of lives, death toll, and displacement. Despite the success of the evacuation, the eruption still killed over 800 people, mainly due to collapsing roofs, disease, and lahars. More than 100,000 people were left homeless. A climate-altering event. The eruption released 20 million tons of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere, forming a global sulfuric acid haze. This contributed to temporarily cooling the Earth and was visible from space. Cultural and environmental impact. The eruption devastated the ancestral lands of the Ida people, one of the Philippines' indigenous groups. Entire ecosystems were disrupted and some rivers were permanently redirected or choked with debris. A modern volcanology milestone. The Pinatubo eruption is now studied as a textbook example of successful volcanic hazard management and international scientific cooperation in the face of extreme natural danger.